On a brighter note, Xiaomi explains more about how its under screen camera actually works. So we talked about this recently, this uh, futuristic approach going on here to the, uh, to the front facing camera. We had these notches going on forever. These ugly notches. Everyone, uh, it's a big topic of conversation. Of course, they're gone now. It's over. We don't have to talk about it anymore. It's over. They hit it beneath the screen. The future is now. Uh, no hole punch, no notch. And the way the guy discusses it in this article, he's like, ah, gee, we just put it under there. You know, a little bit of glass. Should have done it a long time ago. Uh, he's very casual in the discussion here. So apparently uh, this implementation, the camera's embedded in the top of the device as usual, but instead of putting a border around it, a notch, or cutting a hole in the screen, a hole punch display, the camera is covered with a special low reflective glass with high transmittance. Xiaomi says the setup allows the area of the display to become transparent to take pictures, and the transparent display then cleverly doubles as the camera lens. So the display itself is also acting as the lens. Now, there were some slides that Xiaomi shared to, uh, to better describe how this process takes place. And that was on one of their executives' official accounts. And th this is the interesting part right here. They say that the quality is going to be even better because this implementation allows them to fit a larger sensor underneath the front facing camera. How about that, Will? Because you know cool. that was the fear. Mm. That, oh, we're going to hide it underneath the display, but then it's going to be garbage. It's going to be, I don't know, blurry or uh, less sharp or lower resolution or something like this. Apparently not the case. Not according to this guy. Mm. They're going to make you look good, Will, on the front facing camera. Make Finally. you look like a male model. I need all the help I can get. I disagree. What do you think, Jack? Male model or what? Yeah, he's a good-looking guy, as far as I'm concerned. If you say otherwise, take it up with Kirk. It's cool that they actually, you know, talk about the technology up front, you know, and see how it works. It's a lot of transparency in a way. Willie, do! Ladies and gentlemen, coming of age, I made graduation... Point. Uh, pomp and circumstance. You know the song, Pomp? Can you play that song, Pomp and Circumstance, please? We're going to get kicked off of YouTube. Are we? No, play it. Give us a little bit. I think it's like copyright free or something. Pomp and what? Circumstance. Is that the one? Jack, back me up here. You went to college, didn't you? When you graduate, they play, everybody plays this song. Yeah! Willie do, ladies and gentlemen. Coming of age, graduation. What did you say, by the way? Okay, you could kill the song. What did you say that was so good? You said you got to appreciate the transparency. Jack, you never there saw you him go. pull something like that before. This guy, you never know what he's going to You don't know where he's going. You don't know what he's up to. But he's obviously doing something right. Something. So he pulled the transparency pun. And I agree with you. On another note, on the main note, I agree with you because we said the same thing two days ago or whenever it was when they put these tweets out there. We were like, yeah, forget the keynote and the suit, the guy in the suit and the PowerPoint. Just put it out, man. Just put it out. Like, act like, be normal, be cool. So they put the feature out there, showed the demo of the camera working below the display, in the display, hidden. And people retweeted, they talked about it, and, you know, the internet did what the internet does. And then this is a, a layer deeper. This is even greater transparency. This is like, oh, here's how we made it work. Cool. It's not even out yet. It's a product that's not even out yet, and they're telling us how they made it work. Like, this is a very futuristic mentality that, that you're going to announce things sort of gradually as you're developing them, you know this is meaningful to a tech enthusiast audience. They're interested. You know, they're like, oh, wow, uh, I'm excited now. And, and you can start to build the hype based on real evidence, not on these wacky kind of garbage leaks. You know, as the brand, you can get out in front of it. It's very cool. 
So, I mean, obviously, we're going to have to wait and see if this camera is as good as they say. They say it's going to outperform your typical front-facing camera because they can fit a bigger sensor. We'll see. You know, at the end of the day, you still work for Xiaomi, Mr. Wang Zhang. So, don't, uh, let's not pretend. You got to say what you said. But we're going to get it in here. We're going to get it in the studio. Yep. And we're going to figure out if it's the real deal. And I hope so. By the way, I'm rooting. I'm rooting tooting. I got Kirk with that one. I'm rooting for it because I love this type of thing, man. You just, you change the game. This stuff is hard, Will. These type of developments are hard. I got to root for it. I, mm -hmm. The status quo is no fun. You know, what do we do every day if everything stays the same? How do we come in here? What do we talk about? Yeah, exactly. We're, we're, we're hurting for content if that's the case. So I'm not going down that road. I'm going to applaud this thing right here. I hope the camera works as they say once we get it in our hands. But until then, well done. Congrats to Xiaomi. That's all I can say about it. Mm. I'm into it.